Oh, beautiful. More Bali. Elite Pirate. They use up enhanced space bar. And critically strong. Armored and well armed. Elite parts are potent poles. The energy cycle systems absorb beat by these shots, which they use to fuel a massive plasma artillery cannon. The nature of the system makes them invulnerable to propulsion based weapons. Well, well armored, the elite part is effective in close combat, and at a distance, their massive size can be a weakness, and their sluggish speed allows for evasion. Because while I love Super Metroid, I'm a bigger fan of this one. Oh, someone's pissed. I guess I'll scan some shit and just skip the area. Test subject ZD hereafter referred to as Metroid Prime. The very first time Metroid Prime was mentioned in the game was recently discovered in a cavern by mining teams. They quickly dispatched the miners, but was eventually contained by security unit drones. Once, once contained, we were able to begin studies upon Metroid Prime. I don't know how many of you have actually read this stuff, but I always find it interesting. You, you learn more about the story by reading this stuff. And like who Metroid Prime is and some of that. The results have been astonishing. It is genetically similar to Metroid's, albeit on a highly evolved level. It displays limitless capacity for phase-on infusion and shows no phase-on phase degeneration whatsoever. It continues to grow in size, and while it has manifested some psychotic behavior, the gold of fields may use to pacify remain effective. Authorization for advanced studies on Mitra Prime have been approved. Security Command issued on an all-points alert after the fall of Zeeves. The alert concerns the Zee Planet Zeeves. The alert concerns bi bioform Samus Aran, also known as the Hunter. Subject, subject is a female hum uh, humanoid, uh, not humanoid or whatever, and is heavily armed and extremely dangerous. Subject uses a powered armor suit of unknown design in battle. Along with a number of potent beams and competitive weapons, all combat units are instructed to terminate Aaron on site, preferably in a fashion that will allow salvage of her powered armor suit and weapons. A considerable bounty will go to the unit who delivers Aaron to the man, dead or alive. It matters not. Now, I think this game passed before uh, Super Metroid, so this is, uh, so Zeebs is not destroying it. This is, uh, this is after Metroid 1, when Samus defeated Mother Brain the first time. The science team is attempting to reverse engineer Samus Aran's arsenal. Based off data acquired from our assaults on our forces, progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Aaron's weapons against her. We believe we can implement beam weapon prototypes in three cycles. Aaron's power suit technology remains a mystery, especially the curious warp ball. Read this now. Function. All attempts at duplicating it has ended in disaster. Four test subjects were horribly broken and twisted when they engaged our warp ball prototypes. Science team wisely decided to move on afterwards. <laughs> Just imagine being crushed into a warp ball. Nah, oh, I haven't scanned you yet. You're, you're just going to say the same thing as I'm here, so. You're the easiest one to beat. No, the yellow ones are because it's so easy. I 
think so, yeah. Now, I'm not, I'm not aiming for a 100% scan, but I am aiming for a high scan rate, so... I, I am I am scanning a lot of relevant things because I, I think it does help on knowing the story too. Results are in from field studies are on extinct bioform group Chozo. We believe that Talon 4 was once a stronghold in a great Chozo Empire brought low by a meteor strike. Planetary devastation brought on an end to the Chozo, yet remnants of their society remain. Then stop picking that stuff there. Listen, what are you playing with there now? Don't you touch that, that's not yours to play with. Okay. To harness their power. What is of no use to us, we destroy. In time, we shall have all we need from this race. We shall wipe this planet clean of their ugly ruins. The dead should serve the living, not hinder them. Yeah. Yeah, I've always. Oh yeah, but the, those enemies that I didn't read is a completely different story because the, the they're all they they all says the same thing except like the, the yellow one's going to say the power one and it's it's copy paste text. So when I read the purple one, yeah, that's used that one up there. Uh, we are particularly interested in the number of curious chosen artifacts we have been able to recover from a number of religious sites on Telepore. These relics resonate a power, and yet we are unable to harness them in any way. The science team is attempting to fuse them together with Phazon, believing that a link might exist between them. We know that these artifacts are linked to the Chozo Temple that blocks full access to the impact crater. We have yet to crack this enigma. However, command grows impatient regarding this matter. Results must be produced soon. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now let's continue. Oh yeah, I love, I love reading. The, like I said, I love reading the scans because it tells on the story. But the reason why I skipped uh, the ice part then. It's because all four of those parts has the exact same text, so for the most part. Force field granted access offline. And I'll only read red ones, because they're the ones that matter. They're, they're the ones that tell us the most. Mitron Prime continues to feed and grow ever larger in the impact crater caves. Its hunger knows no bounds. Yeah. And it has begun to manifest unusual mutations since its breach. These include armor plating on its uh, epiderm, uh, epidermis and mechanical outgrowths that generate defense screens. These screens render invulnerable to most weapon systems, but a flaw in the mutation leads to increased vulnerability to certain weapons. It compensates for this by shifting the screens quickly. This latest development concerns security units greatly. They feel it's a matter of time before a prime corrects this defect and renders itself invulnerable to all weaponry. Containment would be high impossible if this were to occur. There have been numerous incidents involving spectral entities at the Chozo Ruin sites. Several personnel have been assaulted by these Chozo ghosts. Few have survived. Survivors speak of swift attacks from nowhere, brief sightings of the enemy, then nothing, only to be followed by another attack. The science team believes that these attacks are in response to our efforts to recover chosen relics and artifacts. Somehow, these entities are able to intera interact with the physical world, and it appears that they wish to keep their artifacts themselves. We will make them pay for such arrogance, for even ghosts can be destroyed. What science backs that up? Subject Metroid Prime's breach has been contained. Reports indicate that it sensed a large batch of raw phase on the lab from within its stasis tank and broke through the glass, using previously unsuspected strength. Besides consuming all the phase on, Metroid Prime assimilated several weapons and defense systems from the bomb security units. 
It has suffered no ill effects from said assimilation. Indeed, it began to use its newly acquired weapons against us. Once we pacified it, we were unable to remove the assimilated gear when a threat to Metroid Prime. The gear is now an integral part of its body. Command is intrigued by this newfound ability and has ordered further study to commence at once. That's why Metroid Prime is half a machine in Bristia. It's, it pr practically robbed every uh, out of parts technology. I'll be right back. He's really misbehaving. Okay, I'm back. It's a surprise. Not much of a surprise. I played this game before. <laughs> so, uh. I don't know if I missed anything. What happens if I did? research team to infuse it far beyond our safety restrictions, and the results have been extremely encouraging. Its constant phase on diet has increased its mass exponentially, and it has retained all mental faculties and shows the dexterity with all elite weaponry, including plasma. It's, I always have problems pronouncing that word. Incendiary launchers and the chameleon manta issue for cloaking purposes. Elite powered upsilon exhibits. I think uh, they're talking about uh, Omega Park there now. Miraculous healing abilities, yeah, when injured. It seeks out base on the deposits and coats itself in the substance, which instantly mends the creature's wounds. The subject, which we are codenaming Omega Part, based on these developments shows potential to be a new standard for our armies. Our only concern at this point is its potential over dependence on phase on. Well if there's anything to scan up there, I'll be coming back up so I'll check that room up there after. Uh, there's nothing to scan there, there's nothing the red. Got last two energy takes so far.
right? It's in the area. I should start getting the hang of pronouncing that right because uh, you know those maze patterns always rhyme them. To be right, I never bothered to try using missiles on it before. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Dead in there. Oh, I gotta bomb something, I, I think. Yeah, I think I, I'm gonna go back up here and do something. I gotta bomb. Oh, yeah, these blue things. Wave beam is good against electronics, I don't know. I'm